Hey, it's Sharon Sheldon here from ContentSparks.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the Cards feature in YouTube. So you're going to go to your Video Manager and first select the video that you want to add the card to. Click on Edit and then I'm going to pause it so you don't hear it and then the first thing you're going to do is click on Cards on the upper right here and then pause it again so you don't have to listen. And first let me show you what the card looks like. When you add them you'll see this little eye in the upper right which may move in the future because that does tend to get blocked on some players so YouTube will probably move that. So you, whenever a viewer sees that they can click on it and this card will come out which has your call to action and then they can just close it. Also at whatever point you set in the video you can set a little teaser that has some text on it and I'll show you what that looks like in this video by going over to that point where I've set my slider. Here I put in the text get started now. Now to create that I'm just going to use my put my video back at the beginning and I'll click on add card. You have four different choices here right now. The first is an associated website. That's any URL on a website that you have associated with your YouTube channel. That's a setting you need to do on the channel itself. Then there's fundraising. That's if, you, if you're some sort of charity and you're raising funds for something. Merchandise only works with specific websites, merchandise websites that YouTube is associated with and then there's video or playlist you can actually send people to a specific video or playlist and if you link to a video that's in a playlist it will default to the playlist itself. In this video I'm just going to show you how to send people to a page on your website. In this case I'm promoting a specific product so I'll send people to that product page. I'll click on create, put in the URL of that page and then it'll check it. If you're not associated with that website you'll have to go back and do that. You can change the title that'll show up on the card. I'm going to leave it as the default which I've already set up in my SEO settings on that page in my WordPress site. And you can change the call to action. This is the teaser text that would show up next to that little eye icon that people would click on. I'll make it get started now. You can change the image or select from ones that YouTube has picked from the page. I'm going to stick with the first one, the e-cover, or like I said you can click on upload image and so long as it's square it'll show up. Then just click on create card. Now it's there. You can see that it's showing the teaser text here that gets started now and that again is based on where this little slider is in the bottom. I have my arrow. If you have multiple cards you'll see it pops up with the title when you hover over it. But I can move that to anywhere in the video so that the teaser text doesn't interfere with the rest of the video. So there you can see it pops up just at that point. Now you can also have multiple cards as I think I mentioned before but you really don't want to have a lot of cards or it's going to be distracting and difficult to see when people click on that eye because they'll all show up when you click on the eye and you can see they'd have to scroll down. So stick with one, maybe two at the most. And that's all there is to cards. Give them a try.